Hello everyone. Welcome to our new session on IEC 62443 Cybersecurity Standard. In this session, we will discuss the need for 62443 Standard, what the standard is, the different sections and categories within the standard, and its principles. Let's get started. Cybersecurity threats to manufacturing and process plants are coming from a wide range of attack vectors, including supply chain, logistics, enterprise computing, remote connections, operator stations, programmable logic controllers, distributed control systems, smart sensors, and new smart devices. Many emerging IoT and communications technologies offer greater connectivity, but they make the cyber landscape more complex. Several of the affected industries have taken great strides in improving their defense posture, mostly thanks to governmental regulatory compliance requirements. Most organizations with industrial control systems falls into one of two categories, that is, regulated or non-regulated. It is therefore essential to figure out which framework applies to your industry. The IEC 62443 series of standards belongs to the non-regulated compliance requirements. Let's discuss about the standard. IEC 62443 is an international series of standards on industrial communication networks, that is, IT security for networks and systems. The standard is divided into different sections and describes both technical and process-related aspects of industrial cybersecurity. It divides the industry into three different roles, that is, the operator, the integrators, that includes service providers for integration and maintenance, and the manufacturers. The different roles follows a risk-based approach to prevent and manage security risks in their activities. The 62443 series of standards, developed by the ISA 99 Committee, and adopted by the International Electrotechnical Commission, provides a flexible framework to address and mitigate current and future security vulnerabilities, in industrial automation and control systems, in short, IACS. The committee draws on the input and knowledge of IACS security experts, from across the globe, to develop consensus standards, that are applicable to all industry sectors and critical infrastructure. Now let's understand various sections or parts if the 62443 standard. As you can see on the screen, the standard has four sections, that is general, policies, and procedures, systems, and components. All these respective sections have their subsections. Let's understand each of them in detail and what they represent, and what are their purpose and use in overall 62443 standard. The first section is the general section, that is 62443.1. This group includes documents that address topics that are common to the entire series. 62443.1.1 introduces the concepts and models used throughout the series. The intended audience includes anyone wishing to become familiar with the fundamental concepts that form the basis for the series. 62443.1.2 is a master glossary of terms and abbreviations used throughout the series. 62443.1.3 describes a series of quantitative metrics derived from the foundational requirements, system requirements, and other guidance material in the standards. 62443.1.4 provides a more detailed description of the underlying life cycle for IACS security as well as several use cases that illustrate various applications. Please note, according to 62443.1.1, an industrial automation and control system is a collection of processes, personnel, hardware, and software that can affect or influence the safe, secure, and reliable operation of an industrial process. The second section is policies and procedures, that is 62443.2. Documents in this group focus on the policies and procedures associated with IACS security. 62443.2.1 describes what is required to define and implement an effective IACS cybersecurity management system. The intended audience includes end users and asset owners who have responsibility for the design and implementation of such a program. 62443.2.2 provides a methodology for evaluating the level of protection provided by an operational IACS against cybersecurity threats and how to apply what is required by 62443.2.1. The 62443.2.3 provides guidance on patch management. 
The intended audience includes anyone who has responsibility for the design and implementation of a patch management discipline. 62443.2.4 specifies requirements for suppliers of IACS systems and related components. The principal audience includes suppliers of control system solutions. 62443.2.5 provides guidance on what is required to operate an effective IACS cybersecurity management system. The intended audience includes end users and asset owners who have responsibility for the operation of such a program. Moving on. The third section is systems requirements, that is 62443.3. The documents in the third group address requirements at the system level. 62443.3.1 describes the application of various security technologies to an IACS environment. The intended audience includes anyone who wishes to learn more about the applicability of specific technologies in a control systems environment. 62443.3.2 addresses security risk assessment and system design for IACS. This standard is primarily directed at asset owners or end users. 62443.3.3 provides the foundations for assessing the security levels provided by an automation system. The principal audience includes suppliers of control systems, system integrators, and asset owners. The fourth and final section is components requirements, that is 62443.4. The fourth and final group includes documents that provide information about the more specific and detailed requirements associated with the development of IACS products. 62443.4.1 describes the derived requirements that are applicable to the development of products. The principal audience includes suppliers of control systems products and of components included in control system solutions. 62443.4.2 contains sets of derived requirements that provide a detailed mapping of the system requirements to subsystems and components of the system under consideration. The principal audience includes suppliers of components embedded in control system solutions. Well, out of the 14 subsection we just discussed, the key principles are listed below. The key standards in the 62443 series are the following. First one is 62443.2.4, which covers the policies and practices for system integration. Second one is 62443.4.1, which covers the secure development lifecycle requirements. Third one is 62443.4.2 which covers the IACS component's security specifications. And the fourth one is 62443.3.3, which covers the security requirements and the security levels. The standard sees cybersecurity as an ongoing process and not as goal that has to be reached and caters for the development of IACS components that are secure by design. The integration of these components into an industrial environment has to be governed by defense in-depth policies and practices. I hope the content was useful. Please subscribe to stay on top of all the upcoming videos. Thank you and all the best.